Sorgo as well, back again with another reading. This time it is a romantic love reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. For one of you guys happen to watch the timeless love reading and it resonates with your particular situation, then there may be a reading for you guys in this, um, a message for you guys in this reading. <laughs> I said that backwards, okay? So I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I appreciate all of you guys' love and support for me and for the channel. It is much appreciated. So quick informational. I have a book out, uh, my project, Life's Not a Dress Rehearsal, that's the cover right there. It's about my time in the classroom as an empath and a teacher, how I dealt with my students and um, other adults in the uh, K-12 and preschool uh, classroom environments here in the U.S. Uh, it's a page share and read. It's a mind-boggling read, and I hope you guys will consider supporting it. It's available in paperback format ebook format and it's available wherever books are sold okay amazon barnes um barnes and barnes and noble books a million and wherever books are sold okay so i hope you guys will consider purchasing um there's a link listed below in the description box if you guys want to um click that link or highlight it and put it into your browser okay so let's get into it so as uh, i spoke of that uh you guys have the six of swords and the Ten of Cups. So you're moving towards the Ten of Cups, okay? For some of y'all, after a period of difficulty, okay? Interesting, okay. So Divine Holy Spirit, what romantic messages do you have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for whenever they happen to watch this reading? Messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements. I almost call y'all Capricorn. Y'all might have a Capricorn placement, or you might be connecting with a Capricorn soon. So let's see. Let's see here. Got a three of swords. Ugh. The nine of wands, five of cups, ooh, the ten of wands, the magician, the nine of swords, this is Capricorn energy, you can't make this stuff up, king of pentacles, eight of swords, and the ace of pentacles, yeah, y'all don't even see love coming your way, it's like you're trying to move on from the past, but it's either still haunting you, or you're just like, kind of like worn and weary uh on your path to love or what you've experienced in life from that aren't we all okay yeah it's like you're you're in the energy of kind of sort of not being able to trust yourself or other people or maybe it's a little bit of both after what you've been through with the three of swords the nine of wands and the five of cups it's like Someone you were dealing with in the past broke your heart and put you in a possible third-party situation with the Five of Cups here. You can see three cups are spilled over, but you're not looking at the potential of what's coming in the past. This new opportunity in, uh, coming towards you in the future is because you're living in the past for some of you guys. I feel like the, it's fine to reflect on things so you can move forward. And I feel like a lot of y'all are getting ready to do that with the Ten of Wands here. Letting go of burdens from your past, taking the lessons that life and love has taught you, and moving forward. You're manifesting a new beginning with the magician here. Not afraid to move forward on one aspect, but still scared to death in another aspect. Hey, you're a spiritual being having a human experience, and that's to be expected. But I feel like a lot of you guys, that uh, scared energy or that fear comes from what you've experienced in the past. And not wanting to go through the nine of swords energy the nine of wands energy um that you've experienced um i feel like a lot of y'all need to learn to trust yourself and use your your intuition your discernment in order to trust others you might be meeting someone new capric strong capricorn energy with the king of pentacles here okay i feel like whoever this person is this is someone that you're going to have to learn how to trust because you're going to give them the opportunity to prove themselves to you. Not listening to the words 
they say, but watching their actions. I feel like when this person comes towards you, Aquarius Pisces, they're going to have their hands full uh, in being patient and dealing with you and getting you to open up to them because you're so, uh, a lot of y'all want love, but you're scared of it because of what you've been through. For some of y'all, y'all may suffer from some type of anxiety or social anxiety, but I feel like you have to, if you want this opportunity and love and don't want to miss out on it you have to open up you can't be like oh everybody's crazy and like this two of swords energy or suspicious of everyone you know do your due diligence yes but you gotta learn how to stop fighting yourself and allow yourself to move forward and trust that you have the knowledge and the wisdom from the lessons you learned in previous relationships not to go through the same cycles and the same experiences that you have in the past okay i feel like that's going to be the major thing for you guys okay mm. okay all right spirit what additional messages do you have for aquarius sun moon rising and venus placements regarding new connections Ooh. okay and that about that, children, your love life is being affected by children. So for some of y'all, y'all may have children or the person you're meeting has a child or children. And this might be an obstacle for you. And I, on the only thing I can tell you, if you're someone who doesn't have a child and you meet someone with, with a child or children, you may have to decide if that's worth it for you. Um, you know, being involved with someone who's a single parent. Okay. Uh, past life relationship you have known each other before okay so and uh, for some of y'all uh, you might end up having a child with this particular person or children interesting a lot of y'all are scared then I take and give your relationship a check a lot of y'all nine of swords eight of swords you scared because of what you went through in the past deception someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship I feel like this is what you're afraid of and this is spirit telling you to give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership with whoever this person is that you're going to be meeting. Let them show you who they are. Give it enough time. Uh, listen to what they say. Listen to that. Listen to what they say. Watch their actions and let them prove to you what and who they are. Don't just uh, make up scenarios in your head about what you think a person is doing or is going to do. Let things unfold in due time that's why you keep your i mean you get to know a person but you uh let them talk and you get to know them and you listen because you're dating for information whether you be divine masculine or divine feminine you let them show you who they are okay that way you won't be deceived you won't feel like someone is trying to deceive you i feel like that's a fear that you guys have that you've experienced in the past and i'm telling you if you watch and take the blindfold off and listen to a person and, and look at their actions and see if they're aligning. Then you'll see what it is that they are all about, okay? But I feel like for a lot of y'all, you got to use your discernment so you won't lose out on this opportunity. Now, if someone is for you, they're for you. If they're not, they're going to eventually take off that mask and show you who they are. But you have to come out of your shell and you have to let your walls down and get to know a person first, okay? And let them show and prove to you, okay? Give them enough time, that's what I'm saying. And then they'll really, everybody eventually shows you who they are. They can't keep that representative on uh, going <laughs> all the time, 24-7, okay? I'm just saying. So that is all I have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, join our tribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.